What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Don't watch the cushions. I was just being lazy and leaning up on it. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for tuning to another re video. We're going to be reacting to these RTX 390, well, 3090. Memes didn't age well, okay? So we're going to see what's up with it. What I got going on here. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, come on, like yourself down in the comment section. Let's get into it. Oh, reacting to sorry wait hold up let me go back all right so a while back i made a reacting to pc gaming memes video it was supposed to just be some stupid one-off video and it ended up doing really well like you got a lot of views and you guys seem to really enjoy it so i'm gonna do it again because why not i enjoyed shooting the first one so uh, and i suspect you guys are going to enjoy watching the second one so we're just going to actually go to the pc master race subreddit for this one last time i had you guys tweet me all the memes but i kind of wanted to put a spotlight on the pcmr subreddit because uh, it's awesome if you guys haven't heard about it i'm sure most of you have it's a great place to sort of uh, be one with the community and enjoy and celebrate all things pc gaming and pc tech it's also run by pedro who i've had the privilege of meeting a couple times at various events and he's a super awesome dude so if you haven't followed the uh, subreddit there yet, I highly suggest you do so. So let's take a look at some of these memes. I have not previewed any of these. I, I have no idea what to expect, so all my reactions will be genuine. Unless, of course, I've already seen the meme before, but I don't really get much time to, to look at memes these days. So this is my opportunity. When someone asks a Mac user about specs, it seems to run on some form of electricity. Wow. <laughs> But, but also kind of true. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, there are also like Mac users who are highly intelligent and know a lot about computers, even more than me or a lot of other YouTubers that uh, focus on PCs. I have utmost respect for anyone who has a lot of knowledge about technology, regardless of what platform uh, they specialize in. Having said that, it doesn't make this meme any less funny. These Flight Sim 2020 graphics are absolutely unbelievable. Wait, that must be wow. First release, November 1982, 37 Shit. years ago. I'm a little embarrassed here, because I had no idea how old this game was, or how far back it went. That is insane. Microsoft Flight Simulator could be my dad. Wait, no. That means he would have had to have me when he was seven. I guess I just keep forgetting what an old man I am now. RGB forever, this is my totally necessary setup. I don't think this is a meme. Not everything on the PCMR subreddit is a meme, but we'll take a look at some of them. Is this actually someone's legit setup? Oh my goodness, I'm digging the frog. What, so many keyboards. Look at these, yeah, that's a lot of those Corsair RGB sticks that pretty much do nothing other than- Light up a damn room. Oh yeah, they can double as a headphone holder, because that's really useful. Look at this, look at this system. I like that tube, and like, what's up with this reservoir? It looks a little crooked. Anyway, we're supposed to be focusing on the RGB, which looks phenomenal. Steam servers, EA servers. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop trying to disrespect my unit sauce servers. Even though it's kind of trash. I haven't kept. <laughs> Those potatoes hooked up to a voltmeter. I don't have much first hand experience with Ubisoft servers because Ubisoft, yeah. whenever I do games, is very infrequent. It's usually not a Ubisoft game. But I've heard the stories. I know that they're pretty infamous for having bad servers, so that's that's great. This picture with the potatoes, I mean, you could use this for so many different memes. The, the possibilities are endless. Hold on, hold on. Ryzen ITX build in a PS3 case, build in progress, looking for some ideas on how to finish it. More RGB logos. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay. Mod of the week goes to Mods Tech. Ooh, really clean cutout, too. Like, it looks profesh. The cutout around the, uh, the cooler's not all jagged and stuff. It's all nice. It's pretty cool. Very nice. Introducing the RTX 3090 Ti. Oh, my God. Add, just this add more fans to that bitch. For Ampere's power efficiency. Oh my god. You're gonna need about 30 of those new 12 pin connectors to power this thing. I wanna see the case mod that's required to fit this inside of the chassis. You'd have like 15 NZXT H1s stacked on top of each other, so it's just one giant. By the way, let me know act like. Right. Okay, I know y'all say this here. For all my um, gamers and, and tech heads, I'm not that. Don't think I some type of. And see, no, no, I'm learning. I'm a, I'm a newbie. When I tell you I am new, I'm like a freaking two months, not even two months, a month new. And I don't even read up on a two months. I'm new to the world. So take it easy on me down below, all right? Giant tower, and this would slot in perfectly. Chrome.exe is not responding. 64 gig kit. Randolph! I'm all for bad puns, but this one was, was extra bad. Bad meme. No. No bueno. No, I approve. It's awesome. Custom PC case made from canary wood, copper Ooh. lead, glass. Holy crap. 
Rocola. Look at that stained glass right there. That is art right there. This guy was using glass before tempered glass was cool. What a hipster. My GPU and CPU tried to render every strand of this guy's beard. Yeah, in-game here is kind of a royal B to render, so unless you've got a super fast GPU, your your characters in-game might look like they had their, their facial hair drawn on with, with MS Paint. You've heard of the Asus ROG Strix RTX 3090, now get ready for leaked RTX 3090 cards. Yes, it's, it's the same joke, just repeated on multiple GPUs. Imagine yeah. the GPU sag on one of these bad boys. Yeah, I don't think a sag bracket's gonna help much here. We're gonna need a forklift. Parents won't let me buy a gaming chair, decided to make my own. Shit, well, that, bro. This has got the same quality as a gaming chair. Definitely a lot cheaper, too. So, technically a better value. That's a win. Not to mention that's probably more comfortable. How pros play FPS games. Yes, get it, Linus. He's probably just making a joke like, why does anyone need this much real estate on a mouse pad? Are they really gonna use it like this? I guarantee you that's that's what it is. Or I could be completely wrong. Why are you testing mouse pads, Linus? Don't you have employees to do that for you? When you're building a PC and remember the IO Shield because of the memes you've seen four times a week about IO Shield being forgotten. <laughs> Ha-ha! Thought you could pull one out of my eyes, did you? Ho, 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 ho. Oh god, more of the same RTX 3090 memes. I swear. Guys, you, you gotta stop posting these fake mock-ups. How are we supposed to distinguish real GPUs from fake ones? Like, this could be this could be a real card. Jared, I'm leaving you for another man. But baby, what's he got that I don't? Dual monitors of the same brand and size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His reaction is the best part. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, I get it. I understand completely. I don't blame you at all. Go with Mr. Right. Because you can't travel this year's simulator. Yeah, that's accurate. Pretty much. Sad but true. PC Park Picker needs to make a mobile app change my mind. Yes, absolutely. This isn't even a meme. This is a legitimate suggestion. There have been so many times where I've just been AFK and wanting to make a PC parts list on my phone, whether it's because an idea popped in my head or I'm just you know trying to make one on the fly for someone, and I can't because there's no mobile app. So this needs to happen. PC Park Picker, if you're watching this, please, please make a mobile app. I don't want to see some other rando make an app before you guys and steal some of your market share away. So make that app, make it happen, and yes, I would pay $5 for it. Of course, if you want to make it free, I don't think anyone's going to complain about that either. Yes, father, video cards are important to see online class. Me, my father, RTX 2080. There's got to be some truth to this. Like, as soon as COVID hit and a lot of students started doing yeah. online courses, I bet so that, many kids were trying to tell their parents that they needed a high-end gaming PC or an upgraded monitor to take their classes online effectively, which I would be doing the exact same thing if I was their age right now. I used to imagine my parents being like, what do the different tiers of graphics cards mean? And I'd be like, oh, that determines what university you get into. You know, we should probably get ah. the RTX 3090, or should I say Harvard, when you finally make enough money and want to let the world know what you did with it. <laughs> I wonder if this person created WinRAR. I can't think of many other reasons why you pay money to have that on your license plate. Cursed Intel HD. Me barely getting 30 FPS on low in seven-year-old game. People having issues playing flight swing. <laughs> the first world problems are strong with this one. My first PC build. Giga Ultra budget build. Dude, that's actually pretty good. As I far as parts of PCs are concerned, that's, that's pretty clean. Like, everything was cut razor sharp. Everything looks nice, flush, and plumb. The memory, like, it's got some detail on it on the heat spreaders. Other board's cool. got some VRM heat sinks on it. Cable management is literally perfect. This looks better than most real PCs. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. My new $3,000 PC. <laughs> I can't wait to try that game and just watch Hotline 2.0 be brought to its knees. Basically like this guy. Swedish newspaper with a title that says, Unplugged Gaming Fun on a Screen-Free Sunday. <laughs> this, this kid, this kid just wants to play Fortnite. Pre-builds. Ryzen 5 3600, RTX 2060, 16 gigs of RAM, buyer. Oh, unknown Chinese PSU, 2060, uh... RAM, loudstock, cooler, HDD. Unknown <laughs> Wow, sometimes a single meme can say so much. Gamer car spotted. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty Dude, cool. Dude, okay, I seriously need this for my car. Where do I get that? Someone link me. Even the taillights are RGB. Oh, that's sick. Sick, bro! Okay, I think we've gone through a lot of the good memes here, so I'm actually gonna hop over to the PCMR Instagram, where they have even more memes. I think some of these are repeats, but there's some unique ones too. Let's see, it's time to go Internet Explorer. So are you gonna say anything? Was that a good bro? <laughs> I'll see you in browser hell, i.e. A game I really like. I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow. Install under siege. 
That is a high honor for a game. When you get installed on that very small, limited space, that, that expensive prime real estate. That's what it is. It's prime real estate. You got the house on top of the hill. That's a big flex for any game. I think I've seen this one, but it's, it's a good one. When you upgrade your level one item to max level. <laughs> That's a hell of a sleeper though. But then you see the case is so closed off, there's virtually zero airflow. It's usually not the chassis that's holding you back, but it certainly is in this case. Respect your elders. Okay, Boomer. I, I still do like my hard drives. I, I've been phasing them out more and more, but that's mainly because I have a lot of tech on hand. But I think for the average user, hard drives still definitely have their place. It's still expensive to buy a two terabyte NVMe drive. Yes, they've come down way in price, but you just can't compare the actual value, the price per gigabyte when it comes to HDDs. Gaming nice. laptops be like, plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part, you can't really game with them on the go unless you've got an outlet nearby. That's for sure. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Windows Update, Microsoft Edge, everyone <laughs> just chucks it. No Windows. Seriously though, after that last Windows Update, they were pushing Edge so hard. Like, it was it was aggressive. Let the record show, I did not consent to any of Microsoft's edging. Thanks for the install, Internet Explorer. That's, that's all you needed? Yeah. <laughs> now Chrome is your default browser. <laughs> Always ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this one before, multiple times, it still makes me laugh. We did it, we time traveled, but to what year? Let me ask that guy over there, what is the latest GTA game called? GTA 5. <laughs> I think these are just a bunch of funny jokes. how long has it been? I don't even know. Feels like it's been decades. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna cut it off right there. Thank you guys for watching this one. Toss a like if you enjoyed it and get subscribed for more tech content okay. coming at you really soon. I'll Okay, yeah. I guess I didn't find it funny because it was, it was kind of corny. I know. And I can never see myself being that corny, not me. I was a race like that. I ain't that type of nigga. I ain't built like that to be based on corny PC jokes, nigga. Fuck you, mean boy. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, comment all that good stuff down below in the comment section. If you guys are interested in anything else you want to see me react to, let me know and I'll try my best to get on as soon as possible. With that being said, until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.